In this video, you will learn how to unpack and set up your edge system for the first time. We recommend that you set it up in your office and you have enough room to set up both angles if you have two angles. We'd also recommend you have any coaches present who are going to be using the system or who will be setting up the system during the season. The more familiar your staff gets with the system, the better. For the setup, you'll need your carrying case with all your edge components. You also might want to have your instruction booklet. Attached to your instruction booklet will be your Wi-Fi password. You're also going to need at least one camera. If you have the two view, you'll need two cameras. And you're going to need at least one iPad. Open up your carrying bag and let's go over the components inside. In the bottom area, you have all your hardware components and there's a little zipper pocket in the lid that has some loose cables in it. In the long and narrow slot is where the antennas go. Below that is where the edge boxes go. Below the edge boxes are your routers. In the smaller slot is where your battery goes. And here we have some HDMI cables for your end zone. There's gonna be a 25 foot HDMI cable to run down your tower to the edge box and then a six footer to run out of the edge box into your screen. In this compartment, you're gonna have some power supplies as well as some mounts and your battery charger. In the zipper pocket, you'll find an HDMI cable for your press box camera. Later in the video, I'll show you how to use those as well as your end zone HDMI cables. You'll also find one or two one foot ethernet cables, depending on if you have the one or the two view system, those connect to the edge boxes. So if you have two edge boxes, you'll have two of those. You'll also have two battery cables, uh, a blue tipped one that is for the router and a yellow tipped one that is for the edge box. Let's slide the case out of the way and make room to set up the press box angle first. The first component you'll grab is the press box antenna. It says press box right on the side of it. You'll notice that there's a black mount connected to the back of it, as well as an ethernet cable. Next thing you want to grab is the suction mount for the antenna. This will clamp to your window on the outside of your press box. It's adjustable up and down as well as left to right so you can aim your antenna. To connect it, find the two slots and press the mount inside and lift up, securing the mount to the antenna. To suction to the window, open up the lock on the suction, press down on the suction, and then lock the clamp back into place. There is a knob to tilt the antenna up and down as well as to move it from left to right in order to aim the antenna. For this setup, we're gonna go ahead and remove the mount. The next thing you wanna grab is your press box router. It says press box on top of it. You'll notice that there's five ethernet ports. Never plug anything into the internet port. That's the first one with green. All the yellow ports, ports two through five, are fine to plug anything into. And that is the power port there on the left. If you have the two view system, it's important to make sure that your press box router and press box antenna stay together. The next thing you wanna grab out is your edge box. On the bottom of it, it'll be labeled PB for press box. The edge boxes are actually interchangeable, but they are named. So to avoid confusion, it's best to keep the press box one with the press box uh, router and antenna. So on the edge box, you have a camera in port. This is where you're gonna hook your HDMI cable from your camera to the box. You have a router in port where you hook the one foot ethernet cable from there to the router. You have HDMI out, which goes to your end zone screen in most cases. If you have a press box screen, you can do that as well. And then you will have a power in port, which is where you'll either plug the power supply or the battery cable into the edge box. So the next thing we're gonna do is give power to the press box router. Grab the router power supply, it says press box on it. 
actually comes in two cables. You can pull it apart. Um, so just make sure that it's plugged in all the way. You'll be able to tell because when you give it power, there'll be an LED light. After I give it power, you can see that the LED light is on. If you unplug the cable, the light will come off. Just make sure when it's plugged all the way in that the light is on. The other small end goes into the press box router. You'll see the power light will come on and the router will boot up. The next thing we'll do is grab the press box antenna and unravel its ethernet cable and plug that into the press box router in one of the yellow ports, two through five. Do not plug into the green internet port. The next thing we're going to do is grab the power supply for the edge box. It also says press box on it. I want to plug it into an outlet and then plug the other end into the power in port of the edge box. If you look closely on the end of the edge box, you'll see two lights. You'll see a red and a green light. The green light will flash and that's completely normal, but the red light should stay solid. If the red light ever flashes, then you could be having a power problem. The next step is to grab the ethernet cable out of the zipper pocket. We're gonna connect that from the edge box to the router. So it's going to go into the router in port on the edge box and then into ports two through five. Those are the yellow ports. Again, do not plug into the green internet port. One thing to look for is to make sure that on the router in port, you see two lights. They will be solid or flashing. That's fine. Just make sure that there's lights on that. One quick note, you'll see a red light on the port where the antenna is plugged into. In this case, it's port five. That is just indicating that that port is giving something power. There's nothing wrong with it. The final step is connecting the camcorder to the edge box. So go ahead and grab your camera and let's open it up and turn it on. Make sure you go through the camera settings, uh, at least for the first setup um, in your instruction booklet. So we're gonna grab that press box cable that we saw earlier. We're gonna plug one end into the edge box, into the camera in port. Then we're gonna plug the other end into the camera. And now you have the entire press box angle set up. So to recap, we have the press box antenna connected to the press box router with an ethernet cable. The, the router is also connected with an ethernet cable to the edge box. And then we're connecting the edge box and the camera with an HDMI cable. We also have power running into the press box router and power into the edge box. If you only have the OneView Edge system, please skip to 16 minutes and 20 seconds into this video to learn how to use the iPad app. Once you have the press box angle completely set up, go ahead and clear some space right next to it so we can set up the end zone angle. Now we're gonna set up the end zone angle. For this, you may want your end zone monitor just to test it. You're also gonna need your in-zone HDMI cables from earlier. You're also gonna need your in-zone camera. 
The first step of the end zone angle is to grab the end zone antenna. It looks just like the press box antenna, but is labeled end zone. The end zone angle will have its own mount as well. This one has the exact same as the press box mount, only it doesn't have the suction cup. Instead, it has a plastic mount that has three mounting holes that you can secure it to a table in the end zone. This mount hooks on the exact same way. You can also take that mount off and use Velcro straps through each one of these holes around your end zone camera pole and then just aim your antenna. The next step is to grab the end zone router. Looks the exact same as the press box router. Again, do not plug anything into the green internet port, only into the yellow ports. Next, grab the other edge box. This one is labeled EZ for end zone. It has the exact same ports as the other box. The biggest port you're gonna use in the end zone is gonna be the HDMI out to go to your external screen so your filmer can see what the camera is seeing. The next component to grab is your end zone battery. It says 20 volts only, which is very important. Also labeled end zone. To check the voltage, hit the power button. You'll also see the power remaining. To change the voltage, disconnect all the cables connected to the battery like shown. Press down on the power button until the voltage flashes, then tap through the voltage to get to 20 volts. Then just let go and the battery will be set to 20 volts. If you don't set the battery to 20 volts, you will not have enough power to power the router and the antenna. The next step is to grab your battery cables from the zipper pocket. You're gonna have a blue tipped and a yellow tipped cable. The blue tipped cable is gonna go into the battery where the blue sticker is. And the other end is going to go into the router's power port. Next, you're going to plug your end zone antenna into the end zone router. Again, do not plug into the internet port, only in ports two through five. This will give your antenna power through the router from the battery. The next cable you want to grab is the yellow tipped cable. You're going to plug yellow to yellow. And then the other end is going to go into the power in port of the in zone edge box. You'll now have your in zone battery powering the edge box through the yellow cable, and the blue cable will be powering the router, which will also be powering your antenna. Next thing you want to grab is the other ethernet cable, you're gonna plug that into the router in port and then plug the other end back into the router. Make sure the lights on the router in port are on or flashing. Once you have all this set up, you'll wanna check your end zone antenna and make sure that the lights on the back of it are lit up. You'll see that every light will be lit up except for the LAN 2 light. So you'll have a power light, a LAN 1, and then four other lights. This means that the end zone antenna is connected and talking to the press box antenna. You look on the back of the press box antenna, all of its lights will be lit up as well. This means that everything is good between the two antennas and the two angles should be communicating correctly. The next step is to connect your end zone camera to the edge box. So you're going to want to grab your end zone HDMI cables from earlier. There's going to be two in there. There's going to be a 25 footer and a six footer. The 25 footer is going to connect the camera to the edge box in the camera in port. You may already have an HDMI cable for your end zone camera and you can use that instead during the game. This is just for practice. The smaller cable is going to connect the edge box from the HDMI out to your end zone screen.
So let's take the long HDMI cable and connect it to your camera. And then plug the other end into the camera in port of the edge box. And then take the small cable and let's plug that into the HDMI out of the edge box. And then we're going to plug the other end into the monitor's HDMI port. I'm going to turn the monitor on and we should see on the monitor what we see on the camera. You will now have your in-zone antenna connected to your in-zone router. The in-zone router will also be connected to the edge box. And we'll have the edge box connected to the camera and also connected to your in-zone monitor. The in-zone battery will be powering your in-zone router and it will also be powering your edge box. You should now have your end zone angle set up and your press box angle set up. Next thing we need to do is get on your iPad and connect to it. To download the app, go to the App Store. In the search bar, type Edge Replay. Select Edge Replay. Then hit the download icon. Once the app is done downloading, close out of the App Store and open up your iPad settings. On the left-hand side, select Wi-Fi. On the right-hand side, look for the Edge Network and select it. The first time you connect to the network, you're going to need to enter in your password. You can find that attached to your instruction booklet. Select Join. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, there will be a blue check next to the name. Next, close out of your iPad settings and let's open up the Edge app. Select the Edge app to open the app. The first thing we're going to do is go to the question mark. This is our help feature. The help feature as you slide through shows you what every button in our app does. We recommend that all coaches using our app go through the help section and make sure they understand what each part of the app does. The next section we're going to look at is the camera setting section. This will show you exactly what each one of your cameras are doing and it will allow you to have some control over them. As you can see right now, the press box and end zone cameras are ready. They're in green and they say ready. In this area, you can rename your boxes. You can change the video quality. You can shut them down, restart them, or upgrade. The camera settings is the best place to go to after you've set up your edge equipment. This is because it'll show you exactly what your cameras are doing. Right now they're ready, but for example, they could be not connected or the camera could be offline and it could give you a good indication of what's going on in case you need to do some troubleshooting. So now we're gonna close out of the camera settings and go to the X and O button. This is where you can start a game to start recording clips. All you have to do is select home or away, enter your team name and opponent team name, and then select your cameras. Right now the cameras are selected because they have a white background. You can only start a game with ready cameras. Once everything is good, hit start game. You will automatically be taken to the tagging screen. On the tagging screen, in the top right hand corner, you can turn on and off your tagging. In the middle, you can start and stop recording plays. On the left hand side, you can switch angles as well as see the camera status. This is the tagging screen. If you tap this little orange button here, you'll go to the coaches screen. There aren't any clips right now. There's two main screens and this is how you toggle back and forth. So in the tagging screen, let's start a clip. We ask you if you want to turn tagging on, just say no. You're going to see that your cameras are recording. You can switch angles. You go back to the coaches screen. You can see that the recording is in progress. You can see that there's a picture in a picture. Let's go ahead and stop the play and go back to the coaches screen. The plays will download and you can play each play and toggle back and forth with the picture in a picture. You will continue to start and stop plays. This will trigger the edge boxes to start recording and stop recording. Once a play is created, it will automatically be sent to all the iPads connected. So now we're gonna go over some common tips. If you long press your camera, 
underneath the camera status, you can see where you can shut down, restart, and you can go to info. Just a little shortcut to get to renaming your cameras or changing the bit rate. Another useful tip is learning how to troubleshoot based off of camera statuses. Right now the camera status is ready and that's the only way you can actually start recording. But let's just say that the camera died. So I'm gonna take off this battery. The camera status for this in zone camera will change and will say camera offline and not connected. If you ever see camera offline at all, then that means there's a camera side problem. So your HDMI cable could, could have came undone, could be plugged in the wrong port. You need to check your camera settings. You can also make sure that your camera has power. As soon as you figure out what the problem is, in this case, the battery died, so we're changing out the battery. The camera status will go right back to ready. And you can see here that now the end zone says end zone dash ready. It's green. We can start recording a play. And now you can see the camera status is recording. So another tip for troubleshooting based off of camera statuses, if we were to unplug this ethernet cable here or unplug our antenna or turn off our router, then what we're gonna see in this case is the end zone stuff. We're gonna see end zone dash not connected. So it's going to say in zone dash not connected only. You will not see camera off offline. And this has to do with something with your, your network setup. So again, that's going to be your antenna, your router, or the edge box is not connected to the router. So now if I replug this ethernet cable back into the edge box, you can see that it's lighting up. It'll take a second to recognize and it will go back to ready. Now the end zone is ready and we can start recording again. And now the camera status is saying recording, so we're good. So a final troubleshooting tip is to make sure that you're connected to the correct Wi-Fi network. In this case, you can see that the SSID is red and flashing. That means we are not connected to an edge network. So in order to do that, we need to go to our iPad settings by backing out of the app. We need to go to Wi-Fi and look for the edge network. Select the edge network. And now once we go back into the app, we'll see that the SSID is in white and is not flashing anymore and that we are clearly connected to an edge network. Thank you for watching the video on unpacking and setting up your edge replay system for the first time. Now that you're familiar with setting up the edge replay system in your office, the next step is setting it up outside. So you'll wanna set up your press box equipment in the press box and your end zone equipment in the end zone and go down on the sideline and start recording some clips and downloading to your iPad. Once you've done that, the next step before you actually use it during a game is to at least record one or two practices or scrimmages.